What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 material and rendering tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to add a custom material to your library inside of Fusion 360. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so for this video what we're going to do is we're going to download a texture from Texture Haven. So there are a lot of websites where uh, textures are free to download. In this case these are free to download. They're CC0 meaning they can be used for anything. So I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about these a little bit. You're probably not going to use a lot of them um, just because they're, they seem to be more for like 3D um, 3D visualization and things like that than really what we do in Fusion. But um, it's a good place to get a texture to kind of start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to texturehaven.com. You're going to click on the button for textures and then there should be a um, texture in here called Marble 01. So you want to click on that and under the option for download you want to click on all maps and in this case, we're probably going to do the 4K JPG file. So that's going to download a folder um, with several different image files. And we're going to bring some of those into Fusion 360 in order to create our custom material. And so first thing, when you open that up, um, th this may be a little bit confusing if you haven't done a whole bunch of rendering in the past, but it brings in a number of different file types. And they all do different things, so they all are they're either images that we're going to use as part of our texture or they're different maps that tell your rendering program the way that the light is going to act. We're not going to focus too much on that right now. One thing I find helpful is if you right click inside of Windows and go to View large icons or even extra large icons, you can kind of get a look at these and kind of figure out the ones that you need. So specifically for Fusion 360, we're going to want the DIFF, which is the diffuse map. That's basically the color um, texture image that gets repeated across your face. And then we're also going to use the normal map. And so what the normal map does, if you double click on it and look at it, is basically it tells your rendering engine to simulate some um, some bumpiness in different areas. So you can see how, for example, for this tile, if we kind of zoom in on this a little bit more, what this has is this has different color information um, where the recesses are in this material. And so we can load that into our rendering program and it can use that to simulate the light a little bit better. And so really what we want to do in this situation is we want to open up Fusion 360. So we're going to go to Fusion and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my example model that we used before. And for this video, I can probably turn off everything that isn't the base. So we'll select these and turn them off. We'll select these and turn them off. So that just gives us our base right here. And we're going to apply our new material to this base. And so the way that we need to do this is we need to add this material to our library. So to do that, we can go up to modify and you want to look for the option for manage materials. So manage materials is where you can add and uh, rename different materials inside of Fusion 360. And we just want to click on that. And that's going to bring up this window that looks kind of like this. And so what you're going to have is you're going to have a list over here of the different materials that are contained inside of Fusion 360. So if you click in here, you can see how all of these different materials are in here. If you wanted to, you could double click on this and you can edit any of these materials. These are the ones that show up when you bring up your uh, when you bring up your appearance tab. So what we want to do though is we want to go back home. And what I want to do is I want to add a new material. So to do that, we can click on this little button right here. So the little sphere with the plus, that allows us to add a new material. And in this situation, there's either presets in here. We don't want to use the presets. What we want to do instead is we want to add a new generic material. And so the reason we want it to be generic is because we don't want any of the settings to be set for any kind of material. We want to set them up ourselves. And so what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a little window that looks like this. And notice that you've got a preview at the top of what your material would look like. And you can select different objects like this cube, for example, in order to see this. You can also drag this to make this look a little bit bigger. But this is going to be a preview of what our material is going to look like. And so the first thing we want to do when we create our materials, we need to add in our image texture. 
So that's going to be the texture that gets applied across this face. So the way that we're going to do that is to click on this little box right here, and then you're going to go find the material map that you wanted. In this case, we want to load in the Marble 01 DIFF. That's the diffuse map. And you can tell this is the one we want because it's actually the color of the tile. So you can tell that this is the texture image that we want in here. So you can just double click on this. And notice that once you do that, what you get in here is you get a preview of what that material is going to look like. So right now, for example, that material is going to look like a tile image that's tiled across this face. And it's going to look that way no matter which one of these options you select. Right? So notice how you can select a lot of these different options to really kind of preview the way this is going to look. So you can pick the one that you like. I usually go with the cube. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to rename this. So we're just going to call this Marble Tile. And so notice there's a number of different settings down here that really kind of sound like they would have to do with the way that the material is going to look. And that's exactly right. So things like the glossiness are going to affect how glossy the material is. So it's going to affect the light that reflects off of this. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, there's also an option here for reflectivity. So if you check this, notice how this object adjusts and looks different. And these sliders can be moved around. So you can click and drag these in order to adjust the way that these look. So you can affect um, if things are going to reflect or if light is going to reflect off of your surface by checking that box. And so for right now, let's go ahead and let's check the box for reflectivity. We're gonna turn our oblique way down and we're gonna leave our direct on something kind of low, like we'll leave it at 18 for right now. And then we're going to scroll down. Notice there's other things in here like transparency. So you can use the transparency in order to create something that's partially transparent. Um, you can either just check the box and then adjust this to make things look transparent. So notice how if I do that and then I use this, you can partially see through this. You can also load a map in here that will tell this where it should be transparent and where it isn't. Obviously we don't want that because this is going to be tile. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as is for right now. And then we're going to scroll down. We're not going to worry about cutouts. We're not going to worry about self-illumination, though self-illumination is interesting. You can check this box, and if you do that, then you can set this so that the material actually emits light. So you could use it as a light source inside of our rendering engine. We are not going to do that right now, but it's definitely interesting. And so what we want to focus on is we want to focus on bump. And so we want to check the box for bump and notice how as soon as we do that, um, this, as soon as we check the box for bump, this pops up a window. And what this is looking for is this is looking for a map to tell us where the object should be bumpy and where the object should not be bumpy. So in this situation, we want to lay, um, load in the file for normal. Though interestingly enough, we might get an interesting result if we load it in the roughness map. That's really supposed to be more of a map that tells the light where to reflect. But we'll go ahead and load the normal in for right now and see what we get. And so what this does, and it's very subtle but what this does and I don't know if you can even see it inside of this preview um, even if we were to set this to a plane I don't know that you could but basically what this map does is this map tells our rendering engine to simulate bumpiness on the face of our material and so for right now let's go ahead and leave this as is um, so we have our material loaded in now we're gonna click on apply so when we click on apply, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice this material now shows up inside of your favorites in your materials browser. So what that means is we've created this material and you can always come back to the material browser in order to adjust this, but we've created this material. Well, now we can close this and we can open up the appearance tab. So if we go to view or modify appearance and then click on this right here, now if you click on the tab for favorites, what you're going to notice is you have an option in here for marble tile. And so I want to apply the marble tile to this object. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the body by clicking on it. And then with an appearance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on marble tile and I'm going to drag this on top of my object. So when I drag this over, what you're going to notice is now this applies that image file of our tile to our base. And one thing that I'm noticing about this is it's a little bit big, meaning that this is tiling the texture image, but it's too big and you can't see much of the detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into appearance. I'm going to find my marble, 
my marble tile material that's in this design. So you want to look on the in this design section and you want to double click on it. When you double click on it, what that does is that allows us to adjust some things about the material. Well, in this situation, I want to go into advanced. And what I want to do is I want to click into my image settings and I want to adjust the size of this image. So notice how inside of my image settings right now, what this has is this has different sections that are telling us how this material is being applied to the face. Well, I want to go down to the scale and I want to turn that down. So notice this little uh, chain is checked. That means this has a locked aspect ratio, meaning if I adjust one, the other one adjusts as well. That keeps us from creating image distortion in our texture. But I'm gonna bring this down by typing a six and then hitting the tab key. So notice how what that did is that made this texture image smaller. So instead of uh, repeating this every 12 inches, it's now repeated at every six inches. And that's fine. I think I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it down though to maybe something like three inches. And I'm gonna hit the tab key. So now this is tiling this image every three inches. And even that might be a little bit small. So we can just bring that back up to four. And then once we're done, we can hit the done button and we can click on apply. And so when we apply this, that means the change to our marble material has been applied and it's now gonna show up inside of our rendered view. And so let's go ahead and turn these objects back on real quick. So I'm just gonna select all of these, tap V, and then let's go over into rendering mode. So we talked about rendering mode in the last video. If we click on design and go over to render, that's gonna bring us back into our mode where we can see the way this material is going to be rendered. And so notice right now we're not getting a very good result here. And the reason for that is because we don't actually have the rendering turned on. What we've done instead is we've got kind of a preview mode here where it kind of gives us like an early preview of the way things are gonna look. Well, we wanna go click on this button for play or in canvas render. So when we click on the button for play in canvas render, what you're gonna notice is now, this is actually going through and this is rendering our view in real time. And so notice if you like rotate around like this, then uh, it's gonna restart your render. And so every time you move around, it's gonna restart and uh, update your rendering in real time. And so if we take a look at our material right now, you're gonna notice a few things. So the first thing you're gonna notice is you're getting a little bit of reflection off of this face, but not very much. And so we want to adjust this tile so that it acts more like a glossy tile inside of our rendering. And so the way that we can do that is we can click on this, we can click on the button for appearance. That's gonna pop out our little tab on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here in order to kind of lock this out. But what we can do is we can actually adjust this material in real time. So what we want to do is we want to go find our marble tile material, which is right here, and we want to double click on it. And in our advanced settings, remember how before we had adjusted our reflectivity? Well now, let's adjust our gloss. So we're going to drag our gloss up to something like, we'll call it 79% for right now. And so when we adjust this up to 79%, what you're going to notice is now you're getting more light bouncing off of this surface, making this look glossier. And one thing we're gonna think about doing is we're gonna go into our environment settings real quick. So go into scene settings. And in your environment library, let's go ahead and drag something in like, let's call it sharp highlights for right now. Actually, let's drag the rim highlights option in here. So that gives us a few more lights. And so we're gonna get a little bit more reflection. So when we do that, we may wanna turn our brightness up a little bit, so. Nothing huge, maybe to like 1500 for right now. And we can play around with that a little bit more in the future. Uh, maybe we'll bring it up to 2000. And then click on close. So now, if we go back into our appearance of our material and adjust it in our advanced settings, we can also adjust the reflectivity of the object by dragging this slider. So let's bring our reflectivity up to something like 50. So notice when we turn our reflectivity up, what we're getting is we're getting more light reflection off of the surface than we were before. And so there's kind of a fine line you need to walk with something like this, because you want to be careful that you don't make this look too glassy, um, especially because we're not getting a super strong bump right now. We may come in here and turn our bump up 
maybe to something like a hundred. Um, but you don't want to make this look too glassy because then it doesn't look very realistic. So you have to be kind of careful the level of reflection that you get off of this material. And you're just going to play around with this a little bit. But notice how now what we have is if we click on OK, we kind of rotate around. What we've got is we've got a tile material that looks very glossy that's got a lot of light bouncing off of it. So you can bring in and adjust your different tiles by making adjustments to the materials inside of your appearances tab. And let's see if we can find, maybe this will do it. I want to show you what the bump map is doing if we really zoom in. So notice how if I really zoom in on this, and we're going to let this work for a second, notice how if I really zoom in on this, we're getting kind of a bumpy um, effect on the face of our material. And so that bumpy effect is affecting the way that the light bounces off of here. So that's what the normal map does in your bump settings, is it makes this look a little bit bumpier and a little bit more realistic. So just notice that. Um, that's why we load that in here is to get that effect inside of our renderings. And so you, you just kind of play around with this until you get a result that you're looking for. So maybe I'll bring my glossiness back down to like 50. Reflectivity down to like 30, something like that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to find something where the light bounces off of your material and looks kind of realistic. And so you're really just trying to adjust these settings until you get the result that you want. Um, if you're interested, maybe in the next video we can talk a little bit more about the environment settings and some of the adjustments that you can make there. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.